On today's menu, sesos. That's where all the cow's thoughts go. It was a cow brain? Yeah. Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. Why would you eat that? Excuse me. Mexicans call beef brain sesos and typically enjoy them in tacos and quesadillas. But they aren't the only ones who think a brain is a terrible thing to waste. Brain. Brain. The French serve it with tongue, another awful meat. We will sick of brains. And like most edible internal organs or awful, there's not much mystery as to why people began to eat them. It's only recently that meat was something you could just go pick up at a deli. It used to be something you raised, fed, named, bonded with, then killed and slaughtered for sustenance before you played it like a cello. Where's Mortimer? He's on the grill, genius! And as long as Mortimer was going on the table, you might as well eat his brain. After all, it's a rich, fatty organ with a dense tofu-like texture and a custard-like creaminess. And Mortimer's subtle flavor really comes out with a little salsa verde and some fresh cilantro. But then bovine spongiform encephalopathy happened. It's better known as mad cow disease! Is that the hippocampus? It's good. It's so good. So for years, sesos fell off American menus and became unprocurable in delis. Hey, how you doing? Hi, sir. Uh, do you have any brains? Well, because I work in a deli, I don't have brains. Is that what you mean? History alert! In the 1980s, modern industrial farming practice included giving bone meal and other animal byproducts to cows in the form of protein supplements. Now, cows, as you may know, are not carnivores and definitely not cannibals. <laughs> it's true. I eat a lot of salads. Because someone called me a fat cow. The result of this practice was a brand new disease that turned cow's brains into Swiss cheese. Ugh, I have the worst headache ever. And was found to be transmittable to humans who consumed the infected nervous tissue. This led to public outrage. This is utter madness. Because they're cows. Panic. New farming guidelines, Oprah getting sued for smack-talking the beef industry, and ultimately the loss of hundreds of human lives and hundreds of thousands of cattle. Bessie! You are really heavy. So you can see why Sesos was taken off the shelf oh, cause you're Sesos, until I don't have everyone was positive it wouldn't lead to debilitating illness here. and death. This is why no one from the neighborhood shops here! Out of here! Hmm, yes. But why would you eat that? Well, maybe you don't want to waste animals. But it could be because brain contains vitamin C and iron. It's also a fantastic source of DHA, an omega-3 fatty acid that small children need at least 150 milligrams of a day. A three ounce portion of sesos is rocking 727 milligrams of DHA. The bad news? It's also rocking 2,635 milligrams of cholesterol, which is way more than your recommended daily allowance. So like anything, moderation is a good thing to remember. Stop it, stop looking at me. The last known case of mad cow in the US was, oh, 2012, so not that long ago. But it was a dairy cow, so I'm sure it's fine. I, I almost forgot. It's time to feed the office. No. What is it? I have a You're not gonna tell me until I eat it. I get nothing before I put some in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I, I know where it is. What is this? It's delicious. Uh, spray. I'm not even hungry. <laughs> get this guy a microphone right now. So okay, I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> it smells like, like a dead lady's house. Yeah. With like fermenting cats. Oh, it's fine. This is not a good day. See, if you just let me finger your taco, you would have been fine. You're not allowed to finger my taco. <laughs> nope. <laughs> say so. If you say so. You made that joke already. Stop <laughs> it. I'll catch all your dropping. Some good brain. The texture is kind of like meat jello. Mushroom meat texture. Mm hmm. Like squishy. That's where all the cow's thoughts go. It was a cow brain? Yeah. Is it his brain? Yeah. No, I didn't know it was brain. They're back in Oklahoma, they eat it for breakfast. Calf brains and eggs. Mushy. Mm hmm. Snake. Oh, you thought about it too hard. We eat every other part of the animal. Like we eat 
stomach. I mean, what's the brain? The only thing I don't eat is anything on the outside of the animal. I'm talking about <laughs> Not into it. Oh, I like it. Holy she likes brains. I like brains. Didn't you eat balls? Didn't you eat both balls? Man, Cruz, just, you know, shut up. Oh, snap! How does he do it? To for say so's, click subscribe, share us with your friends, follow us on Twitter, and come back next week for more Why Would You Eat That? Take me away. Take me away. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs>It's always happy hour on Why Would You Eat That? This time, the office gets a visit from the Green Fairy, and she makes a mean absinthe cocktail. Four contestants, 200 hot wings, one incredible female eater, and two insane hosts, divided by a party bot, stuffed as a perfect 10. You do the math. Snoop isn't the only one who loves gin and juice. Watch cocktail scientist Dave Arnold craft a cool chemistry set version. You just want a burger that's mad good? This is one Italian meatball that ain't gonna bite back, Hey, and so forth. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.